Hello everybody and welcome back to the DZMC Gaming Channel. We're going to jump into our game against Amund and take a look and see what I am in store for. Decide to load. He's online. He bomb me again? Probably, right? Let's see. He purchased nine infantry, one transport, and one, one more submarine. Look at that. That's kind of a pain. I don't want this to get close, so... Um, we'll see what we're going to do about that. One, two. I could destroy or block them here. With a battleship, that would mean I'm going to need to put some planes on here. I could destroy or block them up here, too. Well, of course, my dog decides to uh, start barking. Hang on a second, folks. I gotta deal with that. Right back. And of course, it was just somebody walking by. So we've got f four subs in the water, five subs in the water in the Pacific. This pesky rod, UK sub, is here too. So. Do subs attack at two against. Destroyers, I think they do, right? Or do they? I think they do. But they don't get a surprise shot. So I could defend that, build a destroyer, defend that with the battleship, put two planes here and continue down here. In my march towards, uh, I'd probably go to New Zealand, actually, I'm thinking. That might give us a straight shot to Brazil and then to uh, South Africa. That might be the play. Um, combat, uh, Karelia, okay. He lost an infantry. Of course, I have nothing there. Did he, didn't I have units here? I thought it did. Seven infantry. Caucasus. Ukraine. Yeah, you attacked. Oh, you lost two infantry in Belarus. Good boys. Good fight. And he lost an infantry here. Oh, in Novosibirsk. Wow, he's got out here pretty heavy, actually. Is he going to be abandoning West Russia? No, not entirely. He's leaving a good chunk of guys there. One infantry moved to Persia from India, so he's moving out. Um... It's going to be curious to see if he moves um, all of his guys out, or a good chunk of them. Otherwise, I'm going to be able to stack Kazak next turn. Pretty sure about that. 10, 14, 17, 18, 19, 23, 24 against 21, 22. Hmm. It's got mostly infantry, though. Maybe not quite yet. All right. It's Germany's turn. We have 39 to spend. We bought a fighter last time. don't think we're going to buy one this time. Here's what we're going to do... Hmm. 
What's he got coming? Potentially six, and four is ten. That puts him really, really out of position, logistically. And then six. So 16 units can hit here. I already have enough to hit that. So let's not get too crazy with the artillery here. Seven and two, and maybe another fighter? Hmm. I can hit with six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then six, seven, eight, nine. And 11. So 12 and 11 is 24. No, 23. Hmm. Wonder if he'll hit this. I kind of got to go now. If I'm going to try and occupy Ukraine, it's going to be now. Wonder if he'll hit that back. This and this. Yeah. The, looks like I got one front, two fronts, three fronts, potentially four fronts. I actually am going to need that fifth fighter, I think. The UK doesn't have any more anti aircraft. The U.S. doesn't have any more anti-aircraft, except the one up here. What if I send six tanks at this? I think I can hit it four times. I could stack Belarusia. Effectively dead zoning. Um, Karelia. Attack with 10. Then that puts him out of reach, but... I don't know. Let's, um... Let's be a little more cautious with that. Let's go 9-3. Okay. So, we're gonna want this back. And we got to make sure we get it back. So let's send an extra guy there. And we're going to send... Three guys here. Hope he doesn't get f four hits. <laughs> um, maybe one. Hit this with one, two, and this one with one. Now, the question is do we stack it? We can put 15 there. You can attack with 14, oh, sorry, 15, 16, 17, 18. 15, 16, 17, 18. 15 plus the anti-aircraft is 16. Maybe two tanks. So let's do that. What to do about up here, though? For this to be effective, I have to cut off the supply, but the good news is that he's got no more coming. So I could temporarily move into here. I 
that's the case, I'm not going to need a plane for this. Instead, I'll use it here. He's only got four plus the planes it could hit. I think I'm going to try and take this lightly. Oh, God damn it, I hate this. Take it light. Hopefully we can get two hits out of this. And then move some guys up here from here and into Belarusia. All right. Nothing super creative here. Fifteen. You can put sixteen here. We're building ten. Well. <coughs> Twelve. It's Twenty-five. Plus all the planes. Yeah. Berlin is safe. Let's hope we get continue to get good dice. We've actually gotten pretty decent dice in the last couple rounds. So I can't really whine and complain about that. All right. One hit from the infantry would be nice. Got it. Okay, so France is back in our hands. Let's see what's next. Okay, Northwest Europe, this is iffy. Oh, beautiful. That wasn't super great, but fair. I brought the artillery for a reason, you idiot. Got it. It's going to cost us one. Oh, no. Well, overall, there was dice was pretty good there. 25 to 9. All right. So let's put the planes back here. Um. Maybe force. Let's force him to send some tanks or more infantry. Put a stack of three here. One guy here. Um, four, five. Six, seven. What does this look like, actually? We've got seven, eight units there, plus four more is 12. Let's put two tanks there. Make it 14 against his 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's see if he takes the bait on that. We'll also send one and one to sort of clean up what might be left over here. Um, he certainly can't hit both targets. 
It could with the U.S. dead the Russians. But he's got this lurking. He's going to want to preserve these 12 infantry. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is um, gutsy play here, uh, folks. It's generally not recommended in a KGF. Uh, but I've got to do something to sort of stem this. I, I just need... I'm one turn behind on the Japanese. Uh, and the, the reason for that is because we staged. But what I'm hoping doesn't happen is he doesn't send his guys out here into Persia. If he does, that would certainly expose um, India to an, an attack. He'll have to defend it with something. But... If it gets muddled up here with uh, multinational forces, this game could last literally for 40 rounds. <laughs> so we've almost reached equilibrium right now with um, regard to Berlin. So once we reach that, then we'll be able to send out like 10 units a turn or whatever it might, whatever, whatever the case may be, um, to sort of pivot and, and defend and so on and so forth. So, uh, Let's see how that goes. So right now, if he sends 16 guys here, we can attack with um, thir uh, 76, so that's 13, plus we're building 10. It's 23 plus 8, and then the, all of our uh, planes, so that's 12. So more than enough to crush it, on a, even on a strafe. We can send everything and probably kill almost all of it in the first round. Which is what you want on a strafe. You want a one-round strafe. You don't want to go into two-round strafe calculating and stuff because that gets it's pretty boggy when you're looking at that. Let's just make sure we're not doing anything incorrectly here. I think this is a little bit of a gutsy move, but I like it. Make sure I like it a lot, though. <laughs> see. And the reason for the three is not that we can think we can defend against 12, it's that we know we can defend against four plus maybe some of his planes. And then whatever's left over, we can hit it back. So this is really more just a, a counter attack. Bait him into this. He'll probably move into West Russia. We'll see. I don't know yet. Uh, we're going to put all three artillery here. So now we have 10 artillery with uh, 12 infantry. Three guys here, just to prevent any nonsense from here. Or at least deter it a little bit. He's, probably, he's online. Jeez, I hope I'm recording this. Am I recording this? Yes, okay, everything's working. All right. All right, well, that's going to be our turn. Again, this is gutsy move by me, if I don't mind saying so. But because he's got mostly infantry as attacking units, it's actually, I, I don't know the odds on this, but I think the odds are in my favor. I think it's a 60% or plus to hold this. So we'll see. The dice haven't been super crazy in this game, so pretty even and consistent. We're still down by about 18, maybe 16 points. So he has a 16 point lead on us. I like the attack power of both Japan and Germany. Nice. 33. What? Oh, because I lost all this. And this. So when you lose six like that, that's what happens. So I'm going to pause it. I can play a little bit right now. I'm, my work is slow. And uh, we'll see if Amun comes online. We'll make this a little bit, try to make this a little bit longer of an episode. Um, but if he does go offline, I'll hit the like button, subscribe. And... Uh, after this round, I'll post the previous round's turn. I know they're coming in slowly, but again, I don't want to give away too much in the game. Um, but I can promise you this, that uh, quite a bit happened in the last round. But you'll already see that and know that, so this is kind of useless and pointless to say. So we'll catch on the flip side once uh, Amund takes his turn. All right, well, although Amund is online, um, he's been online for the last two hours. So um, I actually have to get to work and do some things. But I just wanted to say real quick that um, uh, I did the math without any Japanese planes here, and I have an 11% chance to survive the battle. Um, I thought it was actually a little bit better than that. So I'm going to have to put a couple of Japanese planes here to make it a, uh, 
uh, less enticing for him, shall we say. Um, I think I did the math. If I put three Japanese fighters here, um, he only has a 12% chance to take this. And uh, a one-round strafe, he actually loses more infantry than I do. A two-round strafe, he loses twice as many infantry as I do. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to do that. Although I might do the math and maybe offer him a 50-50 on it. So maybe I'll just put one or two planes there. Not sure quite yet, but um, I do have to call it here. I have to call it a quick turn. Sorry, Amund, on that one. I tried to stay online. I'm going to be back on a little bit later, um, actually in a couple of hours. But uh, for now, I have to work. So I have to bid you a fond farewell, and um, we'll call this an episode. And... Uh, if you do take your turn, watch, you, watch you're going to take your turn as soon as I actually exit the game. Um, but this is all raw footage, so I'm not stringing them together. Uh, but uh, I think um, I like my position. Uh, I think there are, I have some challenges to overcome yet. There are some things that I think that you can do that um, could cause me problems. But uh, I like where Japan is heading and um, looking forward to the rest of the match. So uh, if you hit the like button button please and um if you like these videos please hit the subscribe button feel free to comment i do comment to all i do reply to all comments and um or i try my best to do that anyway so uh do your best to leave a comment tell me what you think of the game so far against the world's number one ranked ally player so thanks for coming by folks